Good morning, good morning folks, welcome back to another episode. Today we are back on the lures to give it another go. Unfortunately I missed my alarm this morning which was a bit of a bummer. Uh, so we got down here a little bit later, so I'm fishing for two hours today. Um, fishing from around about four till six. Um, and we're just going to give it a go and see what happens. So we're fishing low tide today, so I'm just bang on the low tide now. Uh, so we'll be fishing two hours up. Uh, hopefully it'll be a good one. And uh, let's get set up and do some fishing. Right, first things first is we will tie on a mini link from Breakaway. I'm right, looking forward to today's session. Definitely looking forward to today's session again. It's a bit of a different one for me. When you're fishing a market at a different state of the tide, you never know whether it's gonna gonna produce, but we will see. Just gonna go straight on with a savage gear seeker, just to have a mess around and just to test. All the knots are good. It should be good. Alright, so let's do it. Back out at it. See if there's anything about. Just looking at the water, it's a lot darker than it has been over the last couple of days, I'll tell you that for sure. It's got like a tea stain colour to it. So we will see. In the spot I originally wanted to go to this morning, there's someone already there, uh, which is not great for us, but we will persist and see if anything happens here, and then uh, we'll make a move and, and change around and do different bits and pieces. Just a couple of quick casts in all directions. A quick feel about to see if there's any knocks or any tugs or anything like that. First catch of the day then. <laughs> Let's do one more with a seeker. Now 
I'll we'll play around with some other bits and pieces. Alright, so back in the box. Back in the box. Let's go for one of these bad boys. Pirate Laws teaser, slightly bigger one, in a cotton candy colour. Shut that in there for a minute. Or I've got a Mega Bass, I believe it's an X layer, with a rattle in the back. Which one? I think we'll go for we'll go for the Mega Bass first, and then we'll go for the Pirate Laws after. I just want to try this with that added rattle on the back. It might be good for us, seeing as the water is is murky and dark. Let's clip this on. Give this a go. If I can get it on. There we go. We're on. We are on. Someone also did say to me as well uh, that using bigger soft plastics when the macro are about can put them off. Because I was having a lot of trouble the other day with the macro just smashing the smaller soft plastics. So hopefully a slightly bigger one may put them off a little bit and may let the bass come through. Right, so out we go. Out we go. We're out.
Not as much as he sniffed so far. Nothing. I say it's crazy how a couple of days can change pretty much everything. I mean, I walk Clary. <laughs> I walk Clary on Thursday, gin clear. Friday, gin clear. Saturday, Sunday, exactly the same. Now we're back to Tuesday. And there's a slight blow up yesterday. And the water's back to back to being dark and dirty. So nothing on the uh, nothing on the little X there. Let's go for the uh, pirate lures, and then as day breaks, it'll change back over and do a surface. Right, first time for the uh, pirate lures, and in it goes. Keep my eye on the uh, on the water surface. So I've seen a couple of little little splashes, which is good. I'm just keeping my eye on the area because once you see the little splashes, you can pass into the area where you see them, and uh, usually you hit the fish. Hit the fish.
know if it's yet nothing. So a couple of splashes on the top of the water surface. But apart from that, it is pretty quiet at the minute. So it's a bit of a gamble today coming out on the low tide and fishing an hour up. An hour and a half up maybe. But you gotta go when you can go. So every cast I'm doing, I'm just changing the uh, direction of the cast. Just to try and cover as much ground in front of us as we've got. Uh, I think of another plan. Right, so we're going to have a play around with the top water laws again. Uh, lazy laws. There we go. Mackerel colour one. Let's get it on. So daylight starts to break. Hopefully this will be a winner again today. Let's give it a cast out. Uh, so top water going out now. Yeah, there's some fish about now. You see some 
<coughs> fish in the front of me. Definitely some proper now. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Before we catch a fish. I like to put on my dish, it's only a matter of time. Come on, fishy. Don't make me do the here fishy song. I think all these early mornings are sending me loopy. Then. Right, so a positive note, I started seeing some fish in the water. They look like scad, they could be mackerel. But we're just going to try and catch them on the top waters because it is super fun. And hope that there's a bass behind trying to snipe them out. As soon as that sun comes, sun comes out and the daylight starts to break. It's like golden hour. Where I felt a little tug in. to rethink the plan. All well, the boats going out in the morning in front of us. I 
Yeah, I'm gonna be persistent. Right, another, pl another plan is needed. Back to the good old faithful. The one and only. Savage Gear Seeker. Spray me up again. Not a sniff, not a single sniff to be dead. Not a whiff, not a sniff, not even a nibbity nib. Whatever that is. To a fish here. That was the that's a fish, that's the worst take I've ever had. Then we just caught on something. Yeah, I think we just caught up on something there. I know there's a rock out there. I think we just hit the top of the rock. Just frantically winding in now to figure out what we've hit. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're into a fish there. We are fish on, we are fish on. We are first fish on. Oh, this is a nice one. GoPro battery is running out, which is a great sign. Yeah, and we're first into a map. There we go. One mackerel for me efforts this morning. So far, let's get him unhooked. And get him back in the water. So there are still fish out there. So Seeker does it again. Finds me a fish after many casts. We found a fish. Can we get another? Let's 
seeing a couple of nice little boils. Oh yeah, there's some boiling now. I think it's time to get the surface oil back on, guys. I think we're going to wind this one in. Get the surface oil straight back on. I think we may even get a fish on this winding. Who knows? I think it's surface oil time. I can see a lot of boiling and movement in the water. Let's get the surface oil back on. I don't want to mess around. I don't even want to catch them. I want to catch them and I want it to be fun. And catching them on metals is fun, but catching them on surface laws is even more fun. So what I'm going to be looking for then, I'm going to be looking for the boiling of the mackerel, which is the cast just behind the mackerel. And by doing that, I'm looking to get a bass. That is my plan. So, I mean, they're pretty close in, to be honest with you. They're literally like right at my tip of my rod here. That was a nice take, that one. Nice take. Catching mackerel on surface laws, absolutely awesome. I'm saying super quick line hook in with the forceps, bang straight back in, and we can go again. There's not many of them about today. I mean, I'm seeing the swirls and things, but... Oh. Compared to the first day and Friday when we were here, man, that was insane. Then again, I am fishing in a different state of the tide could be the reason as to why we're not seeing as many we're seeing a nice swirl over this side now so I'm going to change the direction and go over to the left lure back through this side. Uh, now they're smashing back over in front of me. <laughs> it's 
seems to be all over the place. As soon as I put the lure in, well I think they are, they've changed completely different directions. Into a fish, we are back into a fish. Back into another mackerel. Hopefully they'll stay around for a while. We do with getting down at the weekend to try and grab some for bait. Keep me going through the winter. So I can guarantee you by the weekend. That'd be long gone. So exciting, you can see the little splashes behind the lure. Yeah, bang, that was really close in that one. That was real close in.
caught my first bass. Look at the size of that little fella. There we go. Oh. There we go, look at that. Perfection in miniature, that. Look at the size of the lure. The size of the lure is nearly as big as a little fella. Mental. Right, well, folks, there you have it. Perfection in miniature. Lure, same size as the fish. So I did just have another small bass uh, on the surface lures. Really small one, it was really good fun. But unfortunately my GoPro went into picture mode uh, for some reason, so it just took a load of pictures. Lots of little splashing in the water then. Like I say, it's been a bit difficult this morning, I won't lie to you, compared to the other days. It's been more of a try and put the lure right in front of where the fish are rather than just reeling past out sort of day but uh, yeah there you go a little swirl coming up there let's do some more fishing and a bit less talking i'm gonna try this little fella fish is as petite back on the top water it's a nice small top water as well let's see how we go with this fella Straight in on that one. Straight in on the SPT. Yeah, it's a mackerel. I don't know, it might be. A, yeah, I think it's a mackerel. Well, I'll be damned. It's a bass. It's a bass. That's another small bass. Oh, he's jumping around like a gym. There we go. Crazy. Crazy bass nailed on the SPT. And again, sunrise is upon us. Whew. What a morning. 20 minutes left of the session. back out and see if we can get bass number four. Yeah, we're into a decent fish here, man. This is a decent bass, I think. swirl on the back of that lure as it hit the bottom it's coming straight for us swimming straight for us yeah it's a nice size like bass there we go now see hard work does pay off come out early in the mornings and away we go lovely bass on the fish says petite. Alright guys, there we go. Absolutely awesome. Fish says petite. Lovely cracking bass that. Let's get it back in. Let's get this absolutely cracking fish back in. Ah, 
still good fun. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. Right guys, what a morning it has been. I honestly thought today wouldn't really happen, but I'm pretty glad that we come out and we gave it a go. I mean, like I said, I, I missed my alarm and left an hour later, which to be fair, probably wasn't a bad thing. Um, I didn't know if fish in this venue a low water up would produce, but we caught a couple of fish, which was cool. Uh, we ended up with a couple of mackerel. We had two or three small bass, like really small bass. Um, the GoPro messed around with one of them, so like I say, one of them will be a picture, won't be a full video. And then just lastly, at the end of the uh, session, we had that absolutely lovely bass um, on the Fisher's Espetite, the small one. Uh, top water lures seems to be good this year. I mean, last year, I wasn't very confident in them. But I think as I progress through my lure fishing journey, I'm definitely um, figuring out how to use them and things like that. So they're worth persisting with um, because the takes you get on them are absolutely incredible. And uh, like I say, with that last fish, the bass, uh, on the Espetite, seat, the swirl behind it before it nailed the lure, it was absolutely incredible. So I hope you've enjoyed the session, guys. Thank you so much to all the people that watch the videos. Uh, I do really appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. And I hope you have a fantastic week. The tight lines. Cheers.